Here are the things I would say to Phil Simms. Stop talking. You're driving me crazy. You've been ruining football games for over a decade for me. Shut up. God, how can somebody be so boring and so irritating at the same time? From time to time, people ask me, why do I dislike Phil Simms so much? Because he's exactly what we stand against here at the Young Turks. Man, he sucks up the power. Who's my boss? Is it the NFL? Uh, do I need to make them happy? Is it CBS? Is it the players, the coaches? Who else can I suck up to? I have never seen Phil Simms say, hey, you know what? That was a really bad play. Or, the boy, that was a bad call. I can't believe that. Stop talking. Phil, you don't have to praise everyone on every play. I saw a face mask just the other weekend. I mean the guy nearly ripped the guy's face mask off. The uh, refs didn't call it. Phil's like, I don't see a face mask. You would have to be blind and in a different country and in a cave or an underground bunker with Dick Cheney not to have seen the face mask. But the NFL and the refs and the players and the coaches are right on every play according to Phil Simms. Phil, please for the love of God and all football fans, stop talking. In over a decade of watching Phil Simms call football games, I saw one play where he said something slightly insightful. Hey, the defensive backs were not in the right coverage there. I was like, and it shocked me to my core. Normally, he does his little, you know, goofy Sims key to victory or whatever he calls it. And he says, all right, well, the quick key is that they got to play good offense and, and really good on defense too. Oh, really, Phil? Thanks a lot. I didn't know that. Phil, stop talking. The Super Bowl this year is going to be announced by Phil Sims and Jim Nance. There are no two people on the planet who are more boring. You're going to force me to go to a bar and watch it without the volume because if I'm at home I'm accidentally going to turn on the volume and I'm going to rip out all of my hair. Stop talking, go into a different profession, stop broadcasting, shush, never say another word about football, please. Alright, now you've heard what I would say to Phil Simms, we're curious what you would say, although you'll never convince me that he's a good broadcaster, but I wish you good luck if you're in that direction, but nobody is, because nobody likes Phil Simms. I'm done. I think I dislike Phil Simms more than Joe Lieberman.